<coughs> okay, good day everyone. So our lesson for today is modal verbs. So why, when, and how to use them. So before that, let's first know what are modal verbs. So modal verbs is a special type of auxiliary verb. They alter or complete, complete the meaning of the main verb. They express ideas such as capacity, possibility, obligation, permission, prohibition, probability, supposition, request, and desire. They can also indicate the level of formality in the conversation. And they do not take the S for the third person singular. So the main modal verbs are can, could, may, might, must, shall, will, should, ought to, and would. Can, one of the most commonly used modal verbs in English, it can express ideas such as capacity, permission, or request. So, examples. She can speak French. It is capacity. He can come in now. Permission. Can you lend me your pen, please? So it is a request. Could. It expresses possibility, past ability, as well as suggestions and requests. Examples. Extreme rain could cause the river to flood the city. So possibility. John could run very fast when he was younger. So past ability. We could go to an ice cream parlor or stay home and watch a movie. Suggestion. Could I use your cell phone for a moment? So it is a request. May. It is most commonly used to express possibility. It can also be used to give or ask for permission. Maria may be at school or at home, so possibility. May he leave the room with me, asking for permission. Yes, he may leave the room with you, so giving permission. Might, it is more commonly used to indicate possibility. However, it can also be used to make suggestions or requests. This is a rare use though. So, your backpack might be under the desk, possibility. You might go to Bododromo during your visit, suggestion. And might I open the door, request. That is only for British people though. Must. It can be used to talk about certainty. That is something you are almost sure is true. Moreover, it can be used to talk about obligation, prohibition, necessity, or strong recommendation. Examples, she must be sick. She never gets late to school, probability. Students must pass an entrance examination to study at this school, necessity. You must drink a lot of water to protect your voice, strong recommendation. Sarah. You must always do your homework. Obligation. Shall. It indicates a future action. It is more commonly used with the first person singular and plural, I and we. Often found in suggestions, promises, or predestinations. Examples. Shall we set the table? Suggestion. I shall never lead you, leave your side. Promise. She shall become our queen. Predestination. Will. It is more commonly used to talk about future situations. Nonetheless, it can also be used to talk about the present when we want to make a request. It is also used in situations in which we make instant decisions. Examples. I will call you later, so a future action. Will you close the window, please? A request. I love that shirt. I'll take it or I will take it. Instant decision. Should. This model is more commonly used to give recommendations or advices. It can also be used to talk about obligations as well as expectation. Examples. 
when you have many glasses, you should take a bottle of water with you. Recommendation. You should focus more on your assignments. Advice. I should be at work before 7 p.m. Obligation. And at this moment, they should already be in New York. Expectations. Ought to. It is used to advise or make recommendations. It can also express assumption, expectation, or a strong probability when the context implies that is something that something is deserved. Examples She ought to stop eating red meat. Recommendation She ought to get a promotion. Expectation because Sample, Sam ought to get a promotion because he deserves it. Those apartments ought to increase in value due to the constructions of the new mall. Assumption. You ought to know Alanis Morissette's 1995 hit. You ought to know. Would. It is more commonly used to create conditional verb tenses. tenses. In addition, it can be used to make offers, requests, and talk about past habits. Examples. If I were you, I would not do that again. So, second conditional. Would you like some cake? It is an offer. Would you turn down the volume, please? A request. And we would swim in the dam for hours when we were kids. So, past habits. Other models which can be used to make conditional sentences are could, might, will, and should. Examples. If I knew her name, I might tell you. I could have told you the truth if you had listened to me. If I should see him, I'll give him the message. So that is all for models. So I hope you learned our, uh, our lesson for today. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. And that is all. Thank you and goodbye.